killing me. Hey guys, this is uh, Ken. Me and Jesse are up here at uh, Cloudland Canyon State Park in Rising Fawn, Georgia. Uh, it's on top of a mountain. This is the last day of November, and we're fucking idiots. But we're going to play some disc golf anyway. To get to the park, it's a uh, $5 parking charge. Uh, each round of disc golf, this is a pay to play, is $3 a round per person. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, we have lovely concrete pads up here, well maintained, of course. Uh, the baskets are well marked. Uh, just some obstacles you need to avoid, such as large transmission towers. And whatever you do, don't get into the woods. Stay on the fairway. Even if you have to pull up short, do not go into the woods because there is some ugly suck up here. Yeah. Alright, hole two is a fun little chain run. It's 241 feet straight away. There's a little tree that could get in your path and then if you flip your disc and you're you're in kind of some hellacious um, shoal over to the right. Yeah. Alright, right, hole three. This is a fun one. You're elevated and it is According to the sign, a straight shot of 291 feet, but there's a tree line there. So you can try to find a gap in the trees, or more likely, you hit to the left of the trees and Annie back in to the basket. Just like that. Hole four is um, right back across the gully. You're shooting from elevated to elevated, 190 feet. Basket is straight away through those trees. So basically, I like doing a big spike hyzer. Well, not too big at 190 feet, but really tall spike hyzer up over the trees and bounce down near the basket. What you got there, Ken? Uh, orange juice. Orange juice. Yes, orange juice. What design is that on your glass? That is a Serenity. It's a Firefly Type 3. Type 3. How <laughs> geeky is that? Made by our good friend Jeremy Whitestuff. Well, he didn't forge the flask. He may have engraved it. He engraved it, yes. All right. Yes. What? <laughs> All right, I have some blizzard plastic up in the, up in the wind. Hole five is a great one. It's uh, 253 feet. It is downhill. And over on the left, there's very thick, severe shoal, easy to lose a disc. And if you bust through the shoal, basically you're rolling off the side of the mountain. So you do not want to get your disc left, but it's tough to do downhill. So as you can see, it is straight away, right in the tree line down there. And just don't want to go left. Hole 6 is another hole where the course designers have made really good use of the features on the course. You're throwing slightly downhill to a basket at the edge of the woods on the edge of the mountain. You throw too far, you roll down the mountain. In between you and the basket is this giant disc-catching pine tree. So you have to go around either to the left or right of it. Good hole. Also, Ken wanted to point out the course's first bench is right here. It's kind of old, a little splintery, probably don't want to sit on it naked. And then there's the bench. <laughs> hole 7, another fun and interesting hole. Again, it's short, 250 feet, but it's got a hard dog leg left to it. You can see you're throwing along the side of a hill. You get out to about that rock, you hang a left. The basket's down there, maybe 100 feet towards the woods there. And there is elevation, so if you Get it too high, you'll go past the basket down the hill. Uh, Ken will film us from that rock up there. God damn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, he didn't. Good shot, Ken. Yet another fun and interesting hole. 271 feet. Basket is more left than forward of the tee pad. You 
going downhill and it's a hard, hard left. The T-pad, got to get it up in between those two trees, out into the wind. <laughs> it's got to cut hard left and it's about that direction. Pull nine should be an easy two for most people. It's a 260 straight away, slightly uphill and uh, right on the edge of the tree line there. If you get a bit frisky, trees could knock it down. If it fights through the trees, it's uh, downhill just a little bit. There's a little road back there and some barbed wire, but you can throw back up to the basket. Hole 10 is my least favorite hole. It's 277, uphill. Either it's more uphill than you think, or it's longer than 277. I can normally throw 325. I've never made it to this basket. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot. This time with the Blizzard Destroyer I picked up. We'll see if I can get a little more distance onto my throw. Oh, shit. How do you feel that up there? Not so hot. Man, I want to take a throw. No problem, I've tripped penalty. <laughs> Try straight at it with my understable power. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That abuses me to no end. Hole well, 11 a fun one. Well, maybe not in this wind. 346 feet straight away, slightly downhill. There's a road to the right. It's out of bounds if you flip your disc. If you get too far left, especially in spring when it's green, that line of shul there is kind of tough. Oh! What a skip! Shit. <laughs> Hole 12 is another good use of the features of the course. In the spring and summer, this can be wickedly difficult. Uh, this band of shul to the left, and then the basket's tucked in some trees that are just, they won't let a disc through at all. As you can see here in the winter, very dense branches, but you can either go to the right and spike in right to left, can't really go straight at it, or you can try to ante something in, or I guess flick if you're right handed. So, hole 14 now has a picnic table snugged up against it. It's kind of a random place for a, a picnic, but 14 is fun. It's straight shot, 212. There's trees kind of all around the basket with a gap in the middle. And if you totally, and I mean totally, screw up this shot, there's a road to the left and a road behind it. But you'd have to be really, really terrible to have that come into play. I'm trying to, I'm trying to jinx can. <laughs> all right, so hole 15, you walk across the road. My very favorite part of this hole is on the sign where it says woods just in case you didn't notice that your disc is going into a bunch of trees and you call it woods. But it's 222 feet. It is, sign says it's straight away, but it's really not. You go up through, in between those two trees, and you hang a bit of a right, just barely right. And uh, next few holes are in the woods. Good change of pace. You didn't. I think I just aced it. I heard the chain. All right, hey, let's go confirm. Come on. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse has just aced hole 15 at the Cloudland Canyon Disc Golf Course. Hole 17 is the last of the wooded holes. It's 232 feet, and it is straight up hill. You can see it. It's about uh, 30 feet into the, uh, maybe 40 feet into the field up there. Have kind of a narrow fairway and again it is uphill. All right hole 18 you're back out of the woods shooting blindly over a little grassy knoll to the basket that's tucked into the edge of the woods. 192 feet pretty much straight away. Cloudland Canyon will always have a, a uh, soft spot in my heart. This is the uh, first discourse this golf course that I ever played. It uh, got me hooked on playing this game. Uh, the course, a little older, a little older, uh, not challenging to some people, 
says the man who just shot 10 over. But for me, it's uh, quite challenging. <laughs> Give Ken some uh, a break. There's a lot of wind up here today, but a great, beautiful mountaintop course. There are a lot of amenities here. There's picnic pavilions and barbecue grills and um, one restroom right near the course and some uh, tennis courts. One thing that it is lacking on the course itself is trash cans and benches. I think there's two benches and no trash cans. They're all up here in the parking area. But this course is a nice mix of open, elevation, and woods. And I mentioned this several times during the review. The designers really did, good, did a good job using the features of the land and uh, what they were given to make some holes that are fun, a little quirky, and um, not so much challenging, but just fun. This is a fun course and it holds a special place in my heart because this is where we did our first um, little funny short film um, destroyers, destroyers at a hundred paces yeah. <laughs> check it out it's funny anyway uh, great course come play it oh, the camera was rolling